In a short time, the hook worked out of the trout's lip. Cuervo. Visible line or an unusual bait would never deceive her again. Yeah. In the years that followed, she grew to be the uncontested queen of this remote pool. Feeding in the slow current behind the ground. in the months that followed as various predators fed on the school. And our extended box and the twinkle. Now this is the end of our beginning level rumble. Jasmine! What? The inhabitants of the stream side that I saw along the way brought to mind the words of Isaac Walton. What? I told you not to smoke in the house. You used all of it. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. There's none left. There wasn't that much left anyway. God. What time is he going to be here? Any minute. Why does he have to come here? It's not really any of your business, but he needs to talk to me about some things. Okay. Do I look all right? I guess. Um, can I go over to Billy's tonight? No, I've told you not to see that boy anymore. You're such a End of subject. And don't stay on that phone. Well, hello there. Oh, oh you must be Jeff. Yes. I'm Joanne. Hi, hi. Nice to meet you, Joanne. <laughs> Come right on in. Oh, sure. <laughs> My goodness, uh, you certainly are punctual. Yeah. Uh, you sounded so much older on the phone. Please have a seat. Uh, thank you. Did you um, have any trouble finding the house? Uh, <laughs> uh, no, uh, your directions were very good. So you're going to that party tonight? Oh, can I get you something to drink? Uh, iced tea, Diet Pepsi? Uh, no, 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 that's okay. I'm oh. fine. Thank you. Mom, can I go to the 7-Eleven with Garrett and Dane? No, ma'am. If they want to visit, they can come over here and stay off that phone. You're going to wear down the batteries! Oh, excuse me. No, I'm sorry. Are you sure I can't get you something to drink? Uh, are you sure if you have a glass of water, that would Coming be nice. Right <laughs> what is it with you and the phone today? Mom, would you give me a little privacy? Do you want to take it to your room? Just don't stay on it. No, there. she's fucking insane. Network and the Heaven Hundred Club with your favorite hosts, Brother Bob and Brother Dan. Let me turn this full thing off. So, um, y you have questions for me? Uh, yes. Um, I have a list of, uh, questions here to ask you. Um, the full process will take about an hour to complete. The, uh, the questionnaire is uh, designed to determine the effectiveness of uh, your mental health program. 
and of course all your answers are strictly confidential. All righty. Ask away. Uh, first off, I'm going to need your full name and uh, date of birth. Joanne Dorothy Swain. That's S-W-A-I-N. My birthday is November 15th. You better not tell anybody. <laughs> 1955. <laughs> I'm a Scorpio. I bet you are a Capricorn. Actually, no. Um, I was born in June. I'm a uh, Gemini. Uh-oh. The twins. That means you have a dual personality. I'll have to watch out for you. Okay, well, when was your uh, last visit to a mental health clinic? I'm sorry, what did you say? Uh, I was asking you if you have trouble with your concentration. Yes. Oh, yes, that's right. <laughs> um, no, I've been just You're so fine. Nice. My concentration. My concentration. <laughs> You're so naughty. Is that Billy? I told you to not speak with him anymore. Now hang up that phone. Did you hear me? <sighs> God, you're such a bitch. <laughs> oh, sorry for the interruption. Where were we? I was asking you about your concentration. Yeah. Do you have trouble with your concentration? Oh, no, not really. I haven't had a relapse in months. I've been feeling really pretty good and um, feel pretty focused. And yeah, things are pretty together. OK, uh, good. Do you worry about things? I worry that they'll take my daughter away. They've threatened to do that. Who is uh, they? Brother Bob and Brother Dan from the Heaven Hundred Club. Why do they want to take your daughter away? Because I stopped taking my medication. Well, the only reason I ever took it was because they told me to. And uh, why did they tell you to Take your well, medication. I called into the show one day. They have an 800, they have an 800 number to talk to Brother Bob and Brother Dan. I called into the show one day. I felt I needed to talk with them about some things, you know? He visited me. He visited me. He visited me. Every the Archangel Raphael had visited me. In fact, he visited me. Every night. I think, I think it, it was, was for about a month. month. Yeah. yeah. At, At the, the beginning. beginning. Start, Start off innocently enough. We would dance together, the tango. And then one night, he brought his little friend, the archangel, cameo. That other rascal. He's the angel of love and honesty. And he taught me the rumba. Ah! They are such beautiful dancers, so light on their feet. Well, you know, the tango is a very romantic, passionate dance, a very intimate dance. And the rumba, well, it's a dance of lust. And one thing led to another, and we ended up having sex You know, a menage a trois. It was the most complete feeling of love that I had never experienced before. But having sex out of marriage in the eyes of the church is a sin. 
Um, um, I wasn't sure what my policy was for having sex with the angels. So I thought I should talk to someone. You know, from the Heaven Hundred Club. Brother Bob and Brother Dan sent me to the doctor. And he told me to take the medication. And then they told me if I had sex with any more angels, they would take my daughter away. So I took the medication, and the angels went away. Why did you stop taking the medication? I'm lonely. I miss them. I want them to come back. I'm sorry. Could you have me that box of Kleenex? Thank you. I'll provide you protection. Trust my words, my ways teach me your lessons. Conquer your fears and all doubts about me. I'd do anything for you, can't you see? <laughs> <laughs>